Hey guys, Carter here with BDS Suspension and right now we're in Moab, Utah. This is one of my favorite places to be. You got beautiful scenery all the way around, 360 degree view of it and awesome trails to run. So right now we're hanging out with this truck. This is Go Beyond. This is our 2020 Ford Super Duty. We built this truck about a year ago. It has been an awesome platform to show off a couple off the shelf parts as well as uh, some pretty cool custom accessories. So uh, yeah, let's, let's dig into it and show you what we got. All right, so starting out up front, as I like to do, I always like to go front to back when I do an overview of a vehicle. So on this one right here, this truck is running this ADD Stealth Fighter bumper. I love it. It's got super high clearance on the sides. It's super stealthy. doesn't stick out a ton past the vehicle. That allows us to mount a 30-inch RDS light bar from Rigid. It's a nice radius light bar. We got a worn 12,000-pound Xeon winch. We got worn, uh, that's their sidewinder up front. Awesome shackle to hook up if you ever get in a situation where you gotta need a recovery point. So we got 40 by 14, 50 by 20, Mickey Thompson. This is the Baja MTZ P3 tire. It has been a phenomenal tire. We've, at this point, I think we've got 40, 50,000 miles on them. They still got plenty of tread. They are super comfortable on the road, awesome off-road. We got those mounted on uh, Method race wheels. This is our 605 NV in black. It's just a clean wheel. It really matches the look of this truck. A little bit understated, nothing too flashy. To fit that 40 inch tire, we did two things. We put a lift kit on it. Obviously, we are BDS, so we're going to put a lift kit on everything. Um, this is our off-the-shelf four-inch coilover system. So it's got a heavy-duty radius arm. It's got your track bar drop bracket, pitman arm, all the stuff you'd expect to see out of a quality four-inch kit. So up here, we've got the 2.5 uh, Fox factory race series coilovers along with the factory race series uh, remote reservoir shocks. Both of these are 2.5-inch shocks. The uh, auxiliary shock has the optional DSC adjustment on it so you can dial in that ride quality for how you need it. So to fit these 40s along with that lift kit, we have these right here. These are the Fiberworks. These are fiberglass fenders. They have a much larger bulge, um, so it's a four inch bulge out from the truck to kind of give, fit a little bit bigger wheel and tire setup along with a much bigger opening. So that setup, super clean, gives us clearance for 40 inch tires. I love how we finished this truck off. It's got the um, Chroma Copper Elite paint along with the factory black with a silver pinstripe. It's just a clean look. Again, understated, but just kind of earth tone, ready for overlanding. So stepping back, we got the Ford. This is the Raptor series step that Ford offers for these trucks. It's real similar to what they have on the Ford Raptor. Obviously, these steps are going to allow access into the cab. Inside, it's super plush. So we have cat skin leather, all once again matched in the black, and it's actually a mahogany color. So super clean, super comfortable. Still have your heat and your um, AC in the seats. All right, so in the back, uh, I hate to say it's a mullet, but it's a mullet. Yes! That's where all the party happens. So we got lots of fun stuff around here. We have a nap hide service box, fully set up for all your gear, everything you need to be a true overlander. Um, we had this idea that, hey, overlanders typically are just big over the top builds. And we thought, why not start with a service truck? You know, that kind of setup of, this is a readily available vehicle that you can totally turn into an expedition rig. Have fun, get off the grid, and camp. So for this, we got the nap hide service box, allows a ton of storage for all of our gear. Um, we got everything from power inverters and air compressors, we got tools in there, um, all this kind of hookup for the, all the gear you need. We got our hookup so we can uh, add diesel and the, the def fluid um, all, the, all the way in there. Um, up top, we have a custom rack. Um, it's a low profile rack. We didn't make it too tall, but this allows us to mount our Jane Farode. Uh, this is a rooftop tent, uh, hard shell, opens up, makes it quick and easy to hop in, get a good night's sleep while you're out on the trail. We got Rotopacks, we got Ridge Lights. Up top in the back, we got the Max Track. This is a recovery device for anytime you get in loose gravel and stuff like that. This is a big truck, so if that ever happens, we got those recovery along with the winch to help us get out. Over here on this side, we got the James Broad awning. Comes out, gives us a nice shade cover. Uh, whenever you're set up camp. We have the high lift jack to help us out in any recovery situation. Um, obviously the platform, we got the be crazy beaver shovel, and this right here. May not be big enough, but you know, <laughs> you need the fire extinguisher. Rest in peace, SD-126. All right, so out here in the back, we've got a custom bumper that we built. Works with the service box, kind of matches the look of the ADD bumper we have up front. We've got more rigid lights all built in. And then we've got this. This is the Cargo Glide. This is their CG 2200 XL. Back here, it's impressive. It's got a lot of stuff on the storage rack. Um, so, starting off, we got this Cruising Art. This is a nice grill. You always need that camping. It's all set on MSA 
uh, drop slide. So you can slide that out, drop it down, make it nice and accessible. Obviously not super high because we're on a bit of an incline here. Um, get your propane for your tank. On this side, we do have the Dometic. We have a Dometic fridge, massive one. Slide it out once again, drop it down, make it nice and clean and accessible um, when you're at factory ride height. From there, we got this massive 40 inch tire spare. All that slides out of the bed, easy access, slide it back in, hit the road, ready to go. Yes. Thanks for checking out Go Beyond. This truck has been a blast to build, a blast to wheel. We're out here in Moab right now, so we're gonna go have some more fun with it. Um, if you wanna see more on how this truck got built, uh, we have a full build up story on our, th on our blog. Along with that, you can see more of this truck in action on Instagram, on Facebook. It's a uh, use hashtag project go beyond. Uh, yeah, so appreciate you checking it out. Talk to you guys soon. See ya. This right here, this is Big Bertha. She's a big old truck, but she does real good. So uh, she, run, she run real good down the road and she got big old 40 inch tires and, and a BDS left and and Fox shocks and all kinds of good stuff. So she real really good. It's got a big old service box in the back and rooftop tent up top, and you just have a lot of fun with this right here. So uh, yeah, this is a this one's called Go Beyond. It's a good, good good old truck.